Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and if you follow my videos or if you read the tech news from time to time, you might know that there was a security flaw, possible security flaw, with the uh, snipping tool in um, Windows 10. It's the snip and sketch tool, and in Windows 11, it's the snipping tool. And uh, basically what happened is that if you would use the snipping tool, and so we're going to just make it open here, snipping tool. And then you take a screenshot of some sort. You would then want to crop the picture and save it. What would happen is that the saved picture, usually uh, uh, if you save it at the same spot, should replace the old picture. Now, there was a possibility of actually retrieving the old picture. The security hazard comes from the fact that if you use the snipping tool or snip and sketch in Windows 10 for s removing sensitive information on pictures, well, there was a possibility that somebody could just access the old picture and get the sensitive info you removed. Now, I don't know why there are some media that's, you know, they, first of all, they call it apocalypse and... <laughs> Really, it's far from being anything like that. I don't get the uh, the hype over this security flaw. Y people need to have access to your PC to do it. Just to give you an idea, it already puts a pretty big um, hurdle before you actually can do something. So it would be in a work environment mostly that maybe that could be dangerous. Um, but for most of us, including me, when I use the snipping tool all the time and... I don't see what you can retrieve on pictures that I don't want you to see. But anyways, if uh, you want to have this, there's a fix that's been actually rolled out. So if you're on Windows 10 and Windows 11 also, what you do is you go in your, your Microsoft Store. So on Windows 10, fire up the Microsoft Store, Windows 11 also. Go to the library. On the bottom left, you'll see uh, icons, little bars or a library. It's like books. And make sure that you check for updates and did you get an update for in Windows 10. It's going to be called the Snip and Sketch app. In Windows 11, it's the Snipping Tool app. Once that is done, if you want to know if you have the latest version of it uh, in Windows 10, what you will do is open Snip and Sketch. The update is called Snipping Tool, anyways, also on um, Microsoft Store for Windows 10, but it's Snip and Sketch that you will actually open. On the Snip and Sketch tool, if you open it, you have the ability to uh, go into Settings. The same thing on Windows 10 and on Windows 11, three little dots on the upper right, and go into Settings. Um, in the Settings, you will actually go completely down the, app, the page for the settings. So here I'm going to make it a little bigger. Uh, just make sure this is a little... Whoops. Here we go. Completely down the page, you will see about this app on both apps. If you're on Snip and Sketch, Snip and Sketch, you should be at version 10.2008.3001. So I'll repeat. 10.2008.3001.0. You're fine. That is the fixed app. On Windows 11, it's the snipping tool, and it's 11.2302.20.0. And that is the fixed app. So once this is updated, there's no more possibility of retrieving any old pictures that you might have cropped or changed in the Snip and Sketch app uh, anymore. So it fixes this security flaw, which, um, again, unless you're in a work environment and really use it a lot to remove sensitive info, I don't see the big, big problem in it. Um, once again, you got to have access to the PC to do it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.